shit. Spilling already. Back again. The shitty Tyson's Corner. My main man, Robbie Lopez, came down from New York. Keep me moving, because I'm half a zombie right now. Uh, we just ate, so we're going to let the food digest a little bit before we pump it out. We'll be back. Don't go get changed, man. Crazy enough, Mitch? A little weak of this nonsense. I'll be there, huh? Awesome. One more week, assholes. One more week. And I want those apology letters to start rolling in through email. Let's get busy. And this is doing it by myself this year. Next year when I'm living in New York, me and my homeboy Pez, we're gonna, we're gonna drop the hammer. We're gonna drop the hammer. All right, Mitz, let's get busy, baby. Show them what it's about. Let's go for 10 reps, Robbie Keepy. Gotcha. Three, two, gotcha. one. Let's go. Let's go. Down and up. Come on. That's it. It's it's Three. Come on. It's it's Come on. It's Six. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. It's it. Two. Push. Come on. It's up. Come on. Another one. could not be able to do that. But just his hands being on my elbows is giving me just that much more strength to keep moving. Right now, 
I'm running on fumes. You know, this is a, it's gonna separate me getting eighth, ninth, tenth to getting third, fourth, fifth. So this is where you gotta suffer. The, one of the worst feelings in the world is you have no glycogen. That means two reps and you feel like you're on your 12th rep. And that's where you gotta push. Last set, best set. Let's go. go for number one. Let's Three, go. Two, one. Yeah. Come on, kick. Here we go. One. It's two. It's three. Come on. It's four. It's five. Come on. Keep going. It's six. Come on. Down and up. It's seven. Come on. It's eight. Okay. Three sets. We're done. Whew. Moving on to the next exercise. Normally we do four sets, but three is enough for now. Remember, stimulate. Don't annihilate right now. Sit to... Come on, baby, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One more. Good. Bullshit synthol talk to, to rest. You can't have cross striations if you're taking that crap. Watch. You focus on the shoulder and the delt. Show them how they're made. Assholes. What cross trace? Come on. Like. One, two, 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 three, two, four, two, five, two, six, two, seven, two, eight. Come on, two more. Two, two, two. Big delts. Come on. One, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Come on, two, one, up. Stay quiet this year. Let's go for 12. 12. Let's go for 11 and 12 for Dexter Jackson. Let's go. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Five. Let's go. One, two, three, four. Five. You don't need to go too heavy on rear delts. But then you'll be using too much traps and back. Keep it uh, moderate. Keep those elbows out, bend your wrists, and come up and squeeze them. They're not hard to build. They just you just need to concentrate on them, and they get big. So for 15 reps, last five for Dennis James. <laughs> Thank you. 
cat, you know, since mine are so huge, I don't need to do them so much. You know, some of us were born with genetically monstrous cats, you know. So I only do them once a year. I'm going to do them tonight. I started out here in the off season. <laughs> it's a big fat ass. I'm down to here now. That's about seven inches. Seven inches of fat that I dearly miss. Well, I made a bet with my uh, pal Robbie Lopez. So if I make top six, he's going to treat me to McDonald's for an entire year. We're going to go on an all, all Big Mac diet. Tribute to Dave Palumbo. Right, buddy? 248. 248 at the show last year. I think once fully depleted, I'll be down to like 246, 245. And we'll bring it back up to like 254 on stage. Two minutes, catch my breath, and we're gonna do some triceps. All right, warm up. A lot of people don't know is about two years ago during a photo shoot, I injured my left elbow to the point where I could barely do 15 pound dumbbell presses for triceps. And I just recently started to recover. Finally got some uh, size put on. Goes to show you, don't try to show off during photo shoots. Come back and bite you in the ass. It's, uh, two, two more. Let's go. Let's go. Down and up. Push. Uh, uh, Come on. One more. Last one. Come on. Push. Uh, Lock it. Uh, uh, this is where it counts. I'm literally pushing, but I can't feel myself pushing. It's fucking bullshit. Let's go. That's it. That's it. That's it. One more. Limpy. Come on. He. Yes. Come on, do this. Let's go. Down and up. One, two, three, four, five. Come on. Six. Let's go. Come on. Down. Seven. Eight. Let's go. Two more. Down and up, King. One. Come on. Another one. Last one. Up. Good. Okay. Okay, let's do some push downs. I'm gonna keep pushing, I'm gonna keep pushing. Four breaths, come on, King. One, come on, two, squeeze. Three, four, good. Five, six, come on. Seven, eight, come on, four breaths. Nine, ten, two more. Down, one, last one. Uh. I 
it all depends on your genetics, you know? Go with what God's given you, you know? You know, I'm sure Flex doesn't need to do biceps too much. It's a strong point. Or Nasser quads. Or Ronnie, anything. But, uh, you know, I found out with my waistline, I've always had a really nice tapered waistline. Last year, I lost a little bit of it. And those little jackasses that hide behind those message boards were saying, oh, he's blocky, this is not blocky my ass. I got a 30 inch waist. It's just that I did too much weighted abs. This year, all I did was squeeze. I brought the taper out more. You know, it goes again, don't listen to other people, listen to your body. Hey, come on, uh, out. Come on. Uh, uh, Two more. Let's go. One. Uh, Squeeze. Now we're going to move on to dumbbell kickbacks. Bring out the nice horseshoe shape. Again, don't have to go heavy, just squeeze. Alright, gotta keep moving, gotta keep moving. Gotta keep moving. Two more. Three. You know what I feel like right now? I feel like the 11th hour of the factory right now. <laughs> That's an inside joke. We're going to call that a wrap. If you competitive bodybuilder, you'll understand what I'm feeling right now. You'd understand how hard it is to do what I just did. I'm going to keep a smile on your face. But don't fake it. Don't go around talking garbage when you don't know what it's like. There's one thing that I have to agree with is that we sacrifice a lot. Relationships, you know, family, friends, to get ready for these shows. And when you have people talking garbage behind your back, especially little kids that hide behind their computers or their pens and pencils, it's aggravating. But, like I said a thousand times before, you guys just don't get it. The more shit you talk, the harder I train. So, for the third time in a row, I want to thank you for all the negative things that you guys have said. Because once again, I'm better, bigger, and I'm going to crack that top six. Thanks to all you buck tooth jackasses out there. pick. Big surprise of the Arnold Classic this year. You heard it here first. Victor Martinez, top three.